Hey everybody, welcome back. We're, we're approaching... Peak Misery. We got Tainted Lazarus, Tainted Cain. One Tainted Eden run. I, and, and a little Tainted Jacob, like literally one Tainted Jacob. It's, it's an interesting world we find ourselves in. Um, what do we need? Greedier, True Ending, Hush. Ugh. I'll take the crab juice. It's di disgusting. They're all, like, also very difficult to pair together. Uh, never mind. We win. That's an overstatement. Guppy's eye, though, pretty sweet. Always happy to see it. Actually, like, one of the few guppy items in the game that uh, does nothing for you but does something for you. You know what I mean? Like, Guppy's head, Guppy's tail, nine lives, do something for you. Guppy's hairball, Guppy's collar, don't really do anything for you. Yes, you can concoct a situation where, you know, one of those items saves your game. But in, in the real world, not in the world of hypotheticals that some of the internet chooses to live in. In the world of actually going out here and, and fighting for Isaac greatness. You're not going to see it happen very often. Guppy's eye is like, is good. It's just straight up good. Hmm. I'm just thinking. I, I gotta remember that as Tainted Jacob, this is like a gimmick character that you don't need, at least in my opinion right now. You don't need a super, like, bespoke strategy for. We really don't need to open that chest. We know it has uh, a bomb, a troll bomb, and two cents in it. I'd rather have the key. I'd still rather... I'd rather have the bomb. Um, we've done true ending, huh? That's crazy. How the heck did I get away with that one? Oh, it has, it has two bombs and a key in it. Hold on. I had no idea what I was talking about. This should be our secret room. Should not have used the real bomb when we could have instead used the TNT, but that's okay. Um, what I mean by not needing a gimmick, by the way, is simply that... Uh, really, this is a character where if we just get good items... Why not? Uh, you, you expect to maybe not do okay, because I think you really do need, you know, two very, very uh, good runs in order to realistically do some of the stuff we're trying to do, especially if we're going to try to do Hush as well. Um, but you definitely, you know, you don't need to get the cleaver and then kill Tainted Jacob and run through the level as fast as you can and, you know, yada yada. I know Cobalt, I, I trust Cobalt's opinion on this game more than my own and, and probably more than anybody else's on Earth. Um, Cobalt said Tainted Jacob is the hardest character, Tainted Lazarus merely annoying. So I'm, I'm using that, despite the fact that I may disagree, I'm using that as fuel, you know, to, to, hey, if Cobalt says this guy's merely annoying, let's give it a try. Why not? Again, I trust him more than I trust myself when it comes to this game. <laughs> so maybe if I can use, if I can use those as like words of power, then it's good for me. Um, so what do we need on this run? Okay, well, immediately... Oh, I didn't lose my deal with the devil for some reason. Maybe because losing a rotten heart doesn't count? I thought we were we were toasted on that one. Thought we just lost our devil deal chance. Can I tell you as well? I'm so, like, I, I've played way too much. It's good. We'll just... Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take... After the next room, we will get uh, the TNT on the other character, because... We really don't have much desire to have Yum Heart on a character that only has Spirit Hearts right now. Um, but I, I've I've played way too much Tainted Jacob lately, and in my head I'm like, dude, we gotta we gotta hurry because there's gonna be a, a demon. A demon is going to appear out of the earth soon and uh, try to chase me down. So that should tell you how much uh, Tainted Jacob I've been playing in the past few days. We're almost done with them, thank God. Uh. I'm just thinking, why not? Might as well take a look, right? We shouldn't blow up things willy-nilly. Like, if anytime we have the opportunity to see things with Guppy's eye instead of seeing them with, you know, regular Earth eyes, 
I think we, we just take that opportunity. I'll, I'll tell you, I think we drop a trinket. Maybe? Why not? Why not? Go ahead. Whoa, thank you. Hey, would you look at that? I don't mind losing the, the rotten hearts here. You feel blessed? 100% angel deal chance on the first floor? 100% angel deal chance on the first floor? Magic skin? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. This is this is now the thinking man's run. Um, if we could afford magic skin, take it in to this deal with the devil and still earn a deal with the devil, use magic skin on the angel room, then you never know. You never know what, what could happen here. I'm willing to punish my donation machine. That's just the... Just in case there's enemies there. I'm willing to punish my donation machine. In order to, to have like a... You know, this is kind of a miracle start. Magic skin is kind of dangerous itself as well. But um, we're going to need to do at least one more room. We don't have any bombs or curse. So we're just going to... This is probably our last room over here. Which is a little scary. Because it also... Oh, we have an arcade, actually. I don't think we're really able to play it, but... We did get two cents out of it. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. And now I know what you're gonna say. Oh, well, if you'll excuse me. Um, how are you gonna swing this one? Well... Um, I think you buy... And then we fight. I I think we can do this. We we don't need well we yeah, we don't need Mega Satan. I know how this looks, okay? You just gotta work with me on this one. This fight is gonna suck, but then after this fight, I think we, we might be doing, you know, living in a dream world. You gotta be careful with the uh, with magic skin. I've I've used magic skin to great effect. Predominantly as like the lost because it, it's a victimless crime uh, it, it really can be very advantageous for you. However as not the lost once you see it You're kind of committed to it uh, And we, we might as well try to get some kind of advantage out of it knowing as well that it's gonna carry like a serious HP Problem, I also think it's one of the only ways we're getting out of this run to, to possibly have the ability to uh, get to hush because we're going a little slow weird by the way <clears throat> getting a deal with the angel early on okay so we don't care for that item you come in here that's also not very good i think we take one of you pop this down flip use magic skin that's better not amazing but better Take one of you, take this, use it and hope for the best. Anarchist cookbook. Well, wait, here we go. I really thought that wouldn't hit me. I, th I thought I was being just cheeky enough. We definitely want magic skin for now over, uh, over Dead Sea Scrolls. I mean, Dead Sea Scrolls, I get accused of not uh, respecting it as much as I should all the time. But we also did, you know, whether it's statistically valid or just anecdotal, we did literally just have the exact situation that I, I worry about happening all the time with uh, Anarchist Cookbook. So, I, I honestly think, or with uh, with Dead Sea Scrolls, I honestly think I'd rather have uh, TNT than than Anarchist Cook or than Dead Sea Scrolls as well. Sorry, it's nine twenty six a.m. on a Saturday here. I guess we're just leaving. I thought we would have a charge, but... Okay. Yeah, we can't flip. Might as well take. If we got two of the same, I would try them, but we don't. Okay, eight minutes in. Uh, yeah, I feel okay about this. Magic skin plus secret room access is also very good for us. Remember, you don't have to pick up the item right away in every circumstance. We can spread the love around a little bit. Definitely need some HP for... Uh, Regular Lazarus here, but at least we we have two characters that I would say that almost got me are almost at the level of being able to uh, 
Man, no more spacebar items, please. Kind of, I'm kind of full. Are almost at the level of uh, the enemies that we're coming across. One of them just has decent damage by default. I really didn't think that would hit me either. My mistake. The other one... Why, why is your range bad? <clears throat> like, is there any reason why... Regular Lazarus should have low range. I swear to God, if you cite something from, like, the book of Genesis or something, I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. I'm not playing the Bible! Okay, just get it charged up. I, I really, for sure, think that the path to potential success on this run, and, and every run's a little bit different, right? But I think the path to potential success on this run absolutely runs through magic skin. You gotta be a little cautious. You gotta be a little careful. Should have waited for Guppy's eye there. Um, but I, I think it could be done. And what are we trying to do again? Hush, probably not gonna happen. Uh, true ending? We can leave one of these trash trinkets behind. And I, I don't apologize for telling the truth. It's just the kind of guy I am. It's just the way I was raised, I guess. Whipworm... You know, actually, if we put it on regular Lazarus, is probably not so bad. Because we could really use... Uh, who, <laughs> who, 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 who. Um, we could really use uh, a little range. A golden pill? I think you gotta try, man. Where do, oh, we still got it. Okay. Good? 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 Not good. Okay, we're even. We're good. <laughs> Still going. Uh, it's getting a little a little spicy. Lemon party. Health down. Okay, we're still going. Yo, dog. Go, 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 go. They'll kill us. It'll kill us. It'll kill us. Okay, don't don't get don't get so cocky early. <laughs> I think if we really want to swing for the fences here, we should have stopped when we were when we were doing better. But that's okay. If we really want to swing for the fences here. I think you just buy a spear at heart. This is a little dangerous. It's an understatement of the century, maybe. And then we'll pop a magic skin down in the secret room. I'm gonna do it. I don't know why I'm still going on this. I guess because we can't be killed, right? Well, we could be killed by that. Sure. I'm looking for like... Well, I was going to say I'm looking for 48-hour energy, but that's not really true. Hey! I refuse to stop. <laughs> okay, so missing no rerolls your entire run when you pick it up. I don't know if that's new or if that's been around for a bit, but... I am thinking like... Oh, not an error room, thankfully. I'm thinking, like, why don't you just go for broke on this? I'm drowsy, by the way. Like, now, I, I think, as... This is a weird run. I, I, I should say, my hunch right now is that I'm about to get served a, a dose of reality. Right? You can't be there. Or maybe, maybe Magic Mush will be here. It's been that kind of run so far. I don't think we will win, but if we win, this would be a very fun win, which is one of the reasons I'm approaching it through this uh, this lens. Okay, we're dead, actually. I don't know what to say. I will restart. I thought... Was I crazy? I thought we had some spirit hearts backing us up there. Uh, never mind. I'm no longer upset. This is very good. Sorry, just taking a quick little caffeine break. So, that's unfortunate that we... I mean, you live by the Zane, you die by the Zane, literally. I don't really know what happened, but whatever. We did start with 2020 as uh, Lazarus. Pretty good. Pretty good. How am I doing? Doing well, thank you for asking. Actually, it's it's a banner day. I'm, uh... Because it's the weekend, you know, I got... I mean, I, I know I'm working right now, but this is like... I've talked about it before. I don't really feel the need to justify it that much. <clears throat> but recording on the weekend helps me be a, a better person throughout the week. 
because I don't feel like pinched. Like, oh, absolutely gotta get like an Isaac episode done. It's uh, 7.15 a.m. on a Wednesday. I, you know, it, it's the same amount of productive output, but spaced out in a way that makes things uh, a little bit more tenable for me. And then, uh, once we finish this up, you know, go handle some domestic duties for certain. But, because it's the weekend, I'm on uh, activity duty, which is great news. I get to take the baby out for a little uh, baby socializing. Haven't uh, ever been the, the primary guardian for that as of this point. Things are starting to open back up here a little bit. Uh, which means that my nine-month-old daughter can actually start socializing with other children. Which I think is important. This is a tough choice. Would you rather get a, a tinted rock or would you rather get God's flesh? Like this, I, the reason I'm stalling on that is because I don't want you to know how little I value God's flesh. I think it's it's not very good at all um but we'll, we'll see what happens okay i don't think it matters who snags this item uh and we'll probably drop the finger here so that we can if we choose to go alt path or true ending we can get it uh on the way back and then use cracked key to get uh inner child maybe give us a, a better chance of surviving that beast fight anyway so I'm excited for that. Should be a good weekend. Lots of lots of free time. But also looking forward to being the... Like, can I tell you, I'm not paranoid about uh, going to the baby stuff. But I have heard stories that... And, and I'm not trying to adopt like a victim complex for no reason. I've heard stories that as some of these uh, activity areas, Facebook groups, etc., etc. To thine own self be true. Plus, we could have gotten a bomb out of it anyway, but um, that I'm not going to say dads are unwelcome, but perhaps there's like a I don't even want to call it an unwritten rule because I don't think that's I think it's the, the culture is that it's a place where like moms go and hang out and socialize and then also the babies are getting some socialization. That's just how it works in my messed up. Uh, like overly socially concerned brain like I'm a little concerned that I'm gonna walk in there and uh, you know being the absolute specimen that I am like just the the definition of like a an alpha male um, two and a half percent body fat 90 degree jawline that um, and thick head of hair just absolute you you can't see it because the webcams off but oh man um, that I'm gonna maybe get like pepper sprayed when I go in there, but I, I doubt that it's actually gonna happen that way But I'll, I'll keep you posted in the next video or in a, a couple videos down the road depending on how busy I get today um, So I'm excited for that, but then also Got a text at 3 46 a.m. Which uh, it is not that bad because I like everybody else on planet Earth that uh, is sane I have my phone on silent literally 100% of the time uh, because I realized the other day, and I'll get back to the earlier anecdote, but I realized the other day how screwed uh, we are, uh, not, not as a society, but exclusively from the perspective of, uh, of cellular telephones. We've Surely it says something bad or it, it, it carries a negative connotation that uh, if somebody calls me, <clears throat> I know instantly that they're not a good actor. I don't mean like uh, Nicolas Cage in The Wicker Man. I mean like they, they have bad actions planned. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night, by the way. Um, because nobody I know that has my be best interest in mind would ever call me out of the blue. They would always text me first or... Uh, you know, send me a, 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 an email and be like, hey, can we hop on a Zoom call? If you're just calling me out of nowhere, especially in business hours on a weekday, I, I know that you don't have my best interest in mind. You're, you're here to, I'm not going to necessarily assume cause problems, but at least to irritate me. <laughs> so I have my phone on uh, silent at all times because it's, I choose never to be uh, 
interrupted by strangers unless it's, you know, at a predetermined interval. Uh, like, when did the phones start to become so bad, you know? Or I guess, like, just being able to spoof any number is, is a big part of that. But, by the way, the, do, we, do we ever lose this HP from the Empress? Or is it just incredible? It's, it's just the best? I really want to get Skeleton Key, man. I really want to get Skeleton Key. I don't care for Plum Flute anymore. I think the stats are maybe a little bit more valuable. Um, but anyway... I got a text like 3.45 a.m. that was like, hey, you can now book your second dose. I, I had my pick of the litter. I'm not describing the vaccines as litter. <laughs> At least not in the kitty sense. Um, I mean, if we can't... You know what we got to do then? We got to take this as you. We got to play our Eddie room. Yeah, it's, it's the only way, man. Uh... So next Friday, I'll be getting my, my dose too. Real- oh no. <laughs> Realizing uh, that it, it won't really change my life that much in the immediate period, but just in general, you know, another step towards normalcy should be, should be nice, should be exciting. That's about it, but I mean, like, considering that it's 9.38 on a Saturday morning, like, that's a pretty... That's a good day, man. I don't know what else you want me to say. That sounds like a pretty good day to me. Please, I just need a key. I, I genuinely just need... Just a single key. The key could give us... Skeleton key, it could let us get into the shop. I mean, like, it, it, this is a t tis better to have never loved at all situation. If I'd never known that Skeleton Key was in there, I wouldn't be nearly as annoyed. But I do. We can't even get to that pill, huh? Okay, so here's what we can do. And it's very spicy, but it's also our last chance. You take a flip. You come in here. We don't need... to fight... Mega Satan. So you take Empty Vessel. You pop this pill. That's fine. That's also fine. We're fishing. Right now we're fishing. What are we fishing for? We can now fly <laughs> to Skeleton Key. I know we can't. But I'm like, I have to try. I have to try. Okay, I know we can't squeeze through these. I didn't know there was a Tinted Rock in there, too. That, that's embarrassing that I just figured that out. Am I really willing to, to sacrifice everything here? I'm gonna give it a try. What the heck is this? Redemption? Deliver me from evil. Uh, okay. Repentant, uh, Platinum God. Redemption. I will search for it. Every time you enter a devil room and choose not to take an item, you get plus one damage up on the next floor. Yo. Okay. So. We can now get damage ups by getting deals with the devil and not taking anything. I think it said in the, in the wiki article, this is not just from my, you know, brain. I think it said in the wiki article that if you even take demon hearts it will it will actually cause the impact to not apply as well i wonder do we do we get a 100 devil deal chance as a result is that what's happening or are we just on the second floor no we're on the third floor so the effect i i think i why well, I, I can't say for certain that it lasts forever but i feel like the effect breaks when we take the deal with the devil so, we, we might consider only taking truly 10 out of 10 stuff. Because you got to remember, when nothing gives you a damage upgrade, you got to get a pretty good item to, to, to beat that utility, right? And we just chill. We, we are scared. <laughs> I am realizing the extent of... Uh, Hey, everybody.
everybody, welcome back. I'm realizing the extent of the amount of danger I put myself in by playing the crap out of that deal with the angel so much, or, or the, the Eddie room so much. Um, at least there's a way out of that jam. That's... I'm excited for that. So, I think we should... I know I said I'd do this on a previous floor. In my defense, we had a lot going on here. Did you hear the anecdote about the cell phones? The anecdote about the, you know, baby activity classes? Golden bombs, absolutely fantastic. I've been trying to spin you a yarn so far. Uh, we did this wrong. Yeah, we should have set it up so that we could get the HP as our other character. You can take this. I know we maybe... It's probably more useful to have it as uh, Tainted Lazarus instead of Tainted Lazarus too. Um, however, it is also easier to get half red hearts than it is to get spirit hearts. So we can always flip if things get nasty here. Uh, we need to drop this trinket because this, this feels like potential true ending sauce to me. I don't really have anything that, that makes it... Uh, like super easy to do that, but I think it's it's plausible that we will get something, you know, over the next several floors. I don't know if we have to uh we and we should be really going hard on this, but I, I don't know if we have to make sure that we get into the deal with the devil as the character that has revelations. That now that I think about it, that makes a lot of sense. Or maybe be in the deal with the devil as the character who has revelations? I don't know. That it, it does make sense. There's no doubt about that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this weekend. That's the... Why are you grilling me? Should be a good time. I'll also tell you, I watched half of this movie Johnny Mnemonic last night. Um, it really doesn't matter who takes this. Johnny Mnemonic is a uh, it's a cyberpunk movie from the mid 1990s that I knew was bad, but as a kid, you know, I wasn't able to see it in 1995 when it came out because people are getting you know exploded. Uh, so I always it it and I, I find it weird, but there's movies like this I think for a lot of people they carry like a certain degree of power. Like you always wanted to see it when you were a kid, you weren't able to. And now that you're an adult, you're like, okay, I can finally watch this piece of crap movie. And I have to say, uh, I kind of... Uh, the movie is not good for the record, but it is available uh, on Amazon Prime Video if you're interested. Stars Keanu Reeves. Uh, Henry Rollins. Dina Meyer, who, who also played one of the love interests, not Denise Richards, from uh, Starship Troopers. I the movie is not good, but it made le it made me weirdly nostalgic for what the image of cyberpunk was, or or really just what the in image of the internet was in the mid 1990s. Like it's so Technicolor, uh, E Y E Divine Cybermancy, like lawnmower man stuff that it's. I I kind of uh, I I miss that. That's not what our version of the internet looks like today. It is also, it's funny because Johnny Mnemonic takes place in the year uh, 2021, which is, is humorous to begin with because obviously, uh, <laughs> I mean, if you watch the movie, there's... <laughs> uh, I'm not saying that it was a prediction of what the future would look like, rather just a story set in a version of what the future could look like, but this one's pretty off base. But still, I, I like a, I like a science fiction movie like that. I have to admit, uh, this is well, we have golden bombs. We might as well go for it. I'm just fishing for a secret room first. I do think this floor really is going to be a potential predictor of uh, the rest of the game for us. If we don't screw up our deal with the devil, which I don't even know if we can screw up or not screw up for that matter, uh, and we'll save that. Save that spirit heart for our other character. I feel like this is potentially pretty good. This uh, room, on the other hand, is annoying. I kind of want to just blow it up and 
you know, get out of here. I know we could swap, but the swap is, like, so much more valuable than just using it to get through, like, one single room. Seems like a bit of a waste. We we eventually made it. We gotta, we gotta throw in, like, our own... Uh, we gotta kick in some momentum here to even make the shot land. Not so bad. Hey, golden keys. For three cents, why don't you come grab this? I don't remember what anything else here does. You might as well take this. I almost thought I just threw the run away. <laughs> just by walking uh, over the spikes, but then I remembered, oh uh, yes, the ability to fly, of course. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but like, uh, I always have a soft spot for... Like, 90s and, and 2000s era sci-fi, for whatever reason. It's just something of... Don't even try it, man. It's just something about it, like... Uh, still gotta hit the button. It just hits me in the right spot, you know what I mean? I'm not swapping here either, even to save half a spirit heart on the walkout. I'm not swapping. I think we got a good thing going. This floor has taken us way too freaking long. What was our spacebar item again? It was it was something <clears throat> not that good we gave up for Diplopia. As it stands right now, I like where we're at. We'll go fight the boss. Become Tainted Lazarus 2.0 for the devil room that we're guaranteed to get unless we get hit maybe or maybe not. Um, walk out unless the item is... Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> After all that! Yeah, that was bad. Oh, wait, I forgot we had a double room as well. Um, you know, I think you could do this. I'm still hoping for the best here. Let's see. We should have Diplopiate the Tears upgrade, probably. Unless we get something amazing here. Kind of mishandled at the end here, but... Whether or not it ends up... Uh, making an enormous difference. We'll see. Golden bombs, you gotta remember. This is a nice crutch, but we do not have access to it on the next floor. We still got our deal with the devil. I think we diplopia this, because if we take anything in the deal with the devil, we'll lose the birthright access. Um, or not, um, re repentance? What is, what is the item called? Re redemption. There we go. So we'll double that. Let's just play it safe. Become you. And be like, ah, oh, it's garbage. Just FYI, it's trash. Now we have this over top of our heads. You can take one of those. In fact, you know, I'm going to let you do <clears throat> one more room. That way we can get the other tiers upgrade as, as Jacob. Because I'm looking at the items here and there, there has been a little bit of a, a priority perhaps paid to uh, one character versus the other. <laughs> Mind you, one of the characters has 20-20, so there's a stark difference there, but we'll swap it back. And don't forget, this time, you can definitely drop a trinket. I don't know what happens if you drop it on an XL room. I'm assuming it's going to be fine, but I've been wrong before. Okay. I think that was reasonable. I'm not, I'm not too upset by that. Plenty of money to make something useful happen in our shop here. Really good deal with the devil chance still. I want to see what the damage looks like. Um, that, that hurt me. That hurt me a little. 5.25. I mean, the tiers look bigger. That's one of the, that's one of the easiest ways for me to, to know that we're doing a little bit better on damage. An anarchist cookbook we'll, we'll probably take, but maybe not as you. Now, items are half price if we buy them as the other character, which I neglected to pay attention to on our previous floor. Uh, so we'll, we'll at least try to save some money that way. These, these runs have a very high floor, uh, skill floor. I was, you know what I was going to say? You probably don't even need me to tell you. I was about to say these runs have a very high floor ceiling. It's true. I, yes. I apologize. No, I don't know either. I don't know. What I do know is... Uh, we ruined Empty Vessel. My mistake. 
Uh, like I said, a very high floor ceiling on this run. We might as well. I don't think this is that good, but we have a lot of money, so maybe get something out of it. Shot speed up, shot speed down. Bad gas, range down. Incredible. High Priest is pretty good. High Priest is pretty good. No Empty Vessel is really bad. Um, although, it's very easy for us to just lose a Bone Heart. That doesn't have me too perturbed at all. Forget that bomb, it's not necessary. I guess we can see if we get our deal with the devil, and after that, pretty much no matter what happens, we could just throw our bone heart away. To get Empty Vessel back, because the ability to fly has been quite helpful. I suppose we can gulp our, uh, our trinket if we swap who has it, or who has the pill, I should say. Dude, confessional again? It's never enough for you, is it? I <laughs> I don't know. We we probably can use confessional if we're willing to get a little spiced. I I would say there's a degree of being okay getting a little spiced for me. Especially if there's red hearts in there. Spirit heart, please. I thought it was placed a little low. Anything? You feel blessed? Um, split our angel and devil chance. Actually kind of bad. You know what? Actually, just work with me here. It's going to take a second. I think we do this room. This one, you, you got to expect you're going to be fine. It's not my first Rodeo. Can I give you um, my red heart and thus get empty vessel back? Yes, I can. Can I give you a half? Oh, I'll just give you the full bone heart. That's fine with me. Pretty much inarguable that I should not have done that. However, I did. Bop, bop. And I'll do it again. Are we ready to go? I mean, let, let's see if we get a deal here. It's pretty unlikely. Um, Would have been kind of sick, though. No question. Definitely feel like you could use the speed. I shouldn't do this, but I, I genuinely think this is one of the ways we get to success. Alternatively, it could just kill us is the other one. that It's definitely been known to happen. Uh, red hearts, please? Really? I, I think you fish a little harder. And and normally I'm not this kind of guy, but I, I think that this run, in order to get there, needs a little extra gas. It's not like we were using our bombs for much to begin with. Secret room? Oh, we, oh my god, we already found our second secret room. That's where... Uh, that's where the... Uh, that's where the confessional was the whole time. But, as I've said a couple of times, this run's got a very, very tight floor ceiling. You gotta be careful. Shot speed down, range down, gulp. Well, we'll be leaving this floor. I'm realizing, actually, that we don't want to gulp the trinket. In fact, I think I'm realizing that the best thing for us to do is actually, like, swap. And then drop the trinket. And then it would probably work better as our other character. That's that's not a full battery, I think. But if it is a full battery, this will give us a charge of flip. Right. We can flip back to the other character. And preserve the bone heart for ourselves. It would, the, the flip there would actually... Well, I was going to say it's going to be good. But how are we going to get that red heart out? I have an idea. This is not sane. What I'm doing right now is not sane. There is a full battery. It charged flip. Okay. <laughs> What's the next step? Don't ever talk to me about minning and maxing. That's what I'm going to say the next step is. Because I have only done this once before. Your safety is not guaranteed. We're going to kick out this red heart. We're going to flip. Grab the red heart. Come back out here, 
You know what? While we're here, we got a good rate of fire. Let's shoot these. That's not what I'm looking for, but considering, you know, the Hail Mary we threw, I'm not gonna complain. This is quite a, a decent amount of money just for shooting a single fire. Then, this is a bone heart when we go down to the next floor, which is really nice. Uh, I, It's very hard for me to look at this run and say we got any chance of beating the beast. But I've been wrong before. We get, get a, enough HP and maybe like an incredible devil deal or something. There's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Pokeball is not the play. However, five cents for uh, items is, is a nice thing to have in case we end up with a serious surplus of money. What the heck? Soul of Eden? Soul of Eden is like a random dice effect? Did I, oh, let me gulp this real quick. Okay. I mean, we're really... <laughs> No one could accuse me on this one. I have no idea what we got HP for, by the way, there. But no one could accuse me of not swinging for the fences on this one, I think. For now, let's let's get the heck out of town. I mean, if this isn't an indication that I really don't want to play as Tainted Lazarus much more, I don't know what is. <laughs> what a shot, by the way. I, I think that would have hit me. I think maybe we just transformed at, like, exactly the right time to not get tagged. We should not, uh, be doing this as well. Like, don't... What the? Where'd you come from? Johnny Mnemonic? We should not be using Anarchist Cookbook. It's just abject laziness. What a dodge. What a dodge. Beautiful. We shouldn't be too far off from... I, I mean, I don't know. I was going to say we shouldn't be too far off from having a good chance to win, but I, I don't know if that's actually true. Uh, I, I don't know if I can back that up. I love seeing an item room. Triple shot, you you probably want to uh, get this on, on you. I, it might even be a downgrade, but I think it would be even worse if we did it uh, the other way. And I actually, I don't know, I don't mind triple shot in general. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna act like this is a huge negative or something. We do want to, uh, you gotta get the fool card. Want has nothing to do with it. I want to go into the curse room as well. That one, want has something to do with it. Generally, I like to, I like to scope out the whole floor. Which is a bad idea. Uh, we should really just tunnel vision on finding the cards so that I don't get lost in some kind of conversation about the Canadian store fabric land. That's convenient. Well, sometimes you just like to take stock of a run, you know, at certain points. This one, I'm, I'm quite pessimistic about our overall chances. Hermit's kind of nice, though. We don't necessarily need the Fool card. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pessimistic about our overall chances. I haven't even entertained the thought of doing Hush. Like, that's that's comical. Um, but there is... I, I can't deny that the chance is there. And even beyond that, I'm actually just... I knew that was coming, man. These spiders. I actually just feel pretty good about the way that we played this. I think we got some good items. I think if anything, like, we're, we're kind of lacking... <laughs> and it's very funny to say this, looking at the item collections. I think we're lacking some power on... Uh, the, the flip side, the B-side Lazarus. Definitely also gave away uh, way too much HP. But you, you gotta... Look, you, you don't try to get on base with this character. I think you gotta try to hit home runs. Because if you try to get on base, they're gonna throw you out, man. They got they got Derek Jeter in his prime at shortstop. 
They got Chuck Knobloch at second base. Like you're not gonna you're not gonna beat the throw. I'm actually I'm just gonna use the key. Um this this could change things very slightly. How? Don't worry about it so much. <laughs> I'm, I'm still thinking. Um, it, if this curse room is incredible, I guess it, it could make a difference. Uh, right? Yeah, that makes sense. You know, check this out, okay? I'm, I'm gonna use the Hermit card to teleport out. We'll look for the Fool card, because it'll save a bone heart in this situation. We're gonna flip. We're gonna pop strength. We're gonna play you. And again, the reason this is happening is because I think it needs... We, we don't have the win. If we don't have the win, then you are foolish to not fish for the win. You gotta try. It's that simple. That does put us one away from spun. You now see the purpose of having this card, I hope. Uh, we don't need the flip. You could fish there. The Emperor, this fight's a random boss. You do not want to fight Mausoleum Mom. That's that's the problem. Yeah, this is a little, it's a little stinky. I was gonna say, a little bit of a poison pill when it comes to whether or not we want to teleport out of here. <laughs> Oops, I did it again, baby. I think we, we have to use these. Yeah, exactly. We have to use these on a flip. So don't die. I hate this, by the way. I don't know how that works. Um, maybe there's a full health in here. That's Oh, it's a health down. Okay, so you can just take that as the other character. Full health? I'm drowsy's fine, man. It's fine. But we kind of need this Emperor card. Um, we also need that Fool card. Well, if we're not going to use Emperor now, when the heck are we going to use it? We have no other means to use it. Like, actually. Because when we start going up, who even knows how that's going to like manifest, you know? You got maybe like some HP for me? The Hierophant, extremely good as the other character. That's fine, I'll take that. I'm, I, I can't believe we're alive. Gulp, mm, no thank you. Like, genuinely, I, I, I can't believe it. I'm very confident we shouldn't be alive. Uh, we still somehow also have a deal with the devil, which is comically hilarious. I think we got an emperor. And if this ruins the run, it ruins the run. We took a chance at it. Please tell me, like, normally you don't get anything for beating mom's uh, heart. Please tell me. That if we beat Mom's heart, they will at least give us an item pedestal. We gotta use, like, all of our bombs here. I really thought we could squeeze. <laughs> I, I had full confidence we were not gonna get hit there. Okay, that one I actually take a great deal of uh, issue with. Sure, maybe I shouldn't have kicked the bomb in the first place. Congratulations on being the, you know, the one billionth person to come to that conclusion. Um, but when I placed the bomb, uh, the hitbox didn't instantiate, I guess, because it's like, hey, we don't want bombs affected, like, as soon as they pop out of the walls or whatever. Well, we have yet again cheated death. Gotten ourselves squeezy, which is... Very helpful as the Empty Vessel character, at the very least. Still have an 81% chance of a deal with the Devil. Uh, the the Hierophant, we can't swap anymore. Well, I guess we could do one more room, but... I'm, I'm taking advantage of it as an option here. I know you have Empty Vessel. 
Um, but at the same time, what are we going to do, right? We're not going to... Please, please pop this. Thank you. We're not going to uh, use it as a, a health down on our other character. We might as well have it as an option. So that Spirit Heart, we're going to try to give on flip here. And you never know. We gotta deal with the devil. I I don't know what. Oh my god, we didn't get the teleport card. <laughs> so we're we're effectively doing this run for no reason, and it was totally called too. That's so funny. I'm not. I'm genuinely not mad. It's kind of just hilarious. We literally can't even make hush, barring uh, you know a, a miracle somehow. I don't even know what item would do it. And then, sure, yes, now you give me the great items. Um, you know what? It'll still... It, it's a fun run to just practice. I'm not upset about it. I'm I'm having a good time. I really do think that a, a, apart from not grabbing the Fool card, this has been a, an impressive display. I'm, I'm proud of myself for how it's gone so far. I'm, I'm being very sincere when I say that. I think this run, even if we don't accomplish, you know, I, and I think there's a great lesson in here, not just for, you know, me, but for maybe people watching, okay, sure, um, for people watching as well, you know, hey, you can, uh, sometimes, if, if you if you base your happiness in life on an outcome, you're setting yourself up for disappointment, you know, even if you do 99% of things right, I'm not absolving myself from the, you know, relative idiocy of just not doing the one condition that I had to do um, but if you uh, if, if you're only gonna be happy if you get something ticked off that posted note that's bad news if you derive a little bit of happiness instead or at least aim to um, from your effort level then I think you're gonna be happier in the long run because you know you, you can control your effort more than you can control Every little aspect that leads to uh, success or failure. Many parameters surrounding that are, to some extent, outside of your control. I will say this is, is kind of comical, because we're probably... It, it's a bit rich. I'm still not fully confident, but I think... Right, yeah, okay. Um, there's still a, a realistic chance that we, uh, that we win this run. Basically, just getting Brimstone from the deal with the devil made that uh, plausible. So I think it would be nice to get a deal with the devil here. And, and it's nice, like, if it has good stuff, we get good stuff. If it has bad stuff, we get a damage upgrade, right? We didn't get a deal with the devil. Um, that's fine, though. Uh, don't, don't pick up the red heart. Head downwards. Yeah, this, this looks increasingly plausible. You gotta admit, it's kind of hilarious. Like, if, you, if you're actually mad, I apologize for, um, you know, whatever led you to that madness. I don't think anybody really is. A lot of people will pretend to, to maybe, you know, position themselves with the moral high ground. However... Real gamers know that this is just funny. After all that, it's like, you know, the world's strongest man. It's like they tried to lift the, they, they set up the rack for a 900 pound squat. Got their pre-lift nutrition on point, strapped on the weight belt. Finally, after hours and hours of preparation, they get ready to make the lift and they forgot to put the freaking collars on. So all the plates just go clattering to the ground like dunka dunka dunka. Good good shot, good shot. I should I, I ran away from that shot like Charlize Theron in uh, Prometheus and I, I got what I freaking deserved. This is amazing. 
We got spun. We got our 17th gulp of the game. Um, gulp of the game. Yeah, I think we're gonna win. I don't know, cause like the, we, we're taking the dark side path, which is a little bit spicier, but I, I think it's pretty likely at this point. I mean, we already beat Mom's Heart with a run that was, without being hyperbolic, like probably one third as powerful as what we're dealing with right now. We l use literally every single one of our bombs, even though one of us happened to, one of them happened to hit us. There is one thing bringing me comfort, I, I might add. Do you think you think it'll break it? It breaks it. Okay, you know what? Good to know. Good to know. I think this literally is like mutually exclusive with uh, empty vessel, but that's okay. Um, but we at least we got a test in there. But there's one thing that is actually bringing me comfort, and it's sincere i don't know if we would have won if we had taken the upper path we're, we're kind of in like a nice spot here to you know we, we got a lot of time fairly easy rooms brimstone allows us to take out these enemies get rewards rebuild our hp um if we'd gone the upper path you're dealing with harder enemies the floors are much smaller there's a chance we could have lost and is is it a little copium sure it's a little copium But I think I got almost, if I couldn't get the reward of the posted, I almost think I got the second best reward on this run. And what's that? Family. No, it's uh, that I'm actually excited to play as Tainted Lazarus again in the future. Though somewhat annoyed by my own mistakes, I am... Uh, I, I've I've been given what a, what a shot, man! I've been given in some ways a gift that's worth more than the post-it note being completed. What is that gift? The gift of being excited to do this run again. <laughs> and I'm only being a little facetious, just a little. Will you allow me? This is a traumatic experience for me. Well, definitely we'll get in here. Definitely we've also created... It, it's a super strange situation that uh, B-side is actually like... has Starts stronger, has way more items, yet is substantially weaker than A-side. A-side has like very little, but it just goes to show you, you know, 2020 Spun and Brimstone is <laughs> pretty good. You son of a... I... I I, it's a gulp pill. After all, it's a gulp pill. I actually looked at that chest, and in my head, I went, it looks a little weird, but whatever. There's lots of weird stuff in this game. Um, so, you know, one of these days we'll get that committed to the muscle memory, but it, it won't be today. All right. We have, we have glorious purpose right now. You know, the only thing we need to do on this run is win. We don't need to worry about anything more complicated than that. do seem to be taking uh, a hit every single room. So, uh, well, as as B-side, at least. Nice. It's quite the floor, huh? Big gulps, huh? Well, see you later. I do have to say, please don't take this as a annoyance. I'm having a good time. The repentance runs do be kind of long, though, huh? I... Oh my god, what a shot. I, uh... I died 13 minutes in on that first Tainted Lazarus run, and then my, like, uh, Afterbirth Plus muscle memory kicked in, and it was like, 13 minutes? You could fit in another episode easy there. Then, you know, wouldn't you know it. I mean, it's a quality problem to have, because the only reason we're taking forever is because the run's good. But it, it do be a, a little longer, that's for sure. Well, actually, there's two reasons why the run is long. The one reason is because it's good. The other reason is because it was bad for a while. Not terrible, but but slow for sure. 
my god, I'm I'm actually kind of doing it. That that's stunning to me. Okay. Satan fight as the proper character. That's fair. I dodged in a position where I couldn't even see the bullets. I think I you gotta accept some responsibility for that one. Nice try. Satan fight at this point, like you know, it's it's just pattern recognition, man. It is funny to think that at some point in my Isaac career, like just doing that would have been seen like basically as as witchcraft. Just for me, not for the viewer. That was a, a dismantling. Brimstone makes everything look a little easier too. Mostly because it makes everything be a little easier. Okay, well again, I don't know if we're gonna make it here, but either way I've had a great time on this run and I hope you'll you'll join me in uh, in agreeing there. This is uh, a bit of an insult. But uh maybe maybe Ocular Rift. That's unfortunate. I don't think Ocular Rift is uh, amazing. I do think it's kind of viable. Okay, um... I'm not gonna flip. If we die, we die. I'm not gonna flip. We gotta save the flip for like a, a spicier situation. You might say spicier than being one hit away from death. Well, yeah, because these guys are also like two hits away from death. We might be one hit away from death uh, on a much more difficult room in like two rooms or something. So I think for now... Look, I'm not pleased with the situation, <laughs> but I think for now you gotta... You, you can't be swayed by emotion as much as, uh, as much as reason in that situation. And there you go. Well, but I would have been right if that didn't happen. Okay, cool. Yeah, in the, in, in the fantasy world, you had the strategy like totally, totally right. In, in the world that doesn't exist outside of uh, your prefrontal cortex, you're very rarely wrong. This is the same darn room, man. Thank you so much for the invincibility. Out here in the real Isaac world, in the trenches, man, we got to deal with evidence-based strategic gameplay. Uh, I deserve that. Did you see him ring around the rosy, though? That is funny. Like, he literally did a loop around the Oculus Rift. Now, this one, to me, I, I've, I look at it and I say to myself, Self, this is where you're going to be using your flip. It's tough, because it does, it, it would make this easier. Just because of Brimstone. But I actually don't find this room that annoying. I mean, it, it's annoying, but not necessarily any more annoying than, you know, any more dangerous than in any other rooms we could come across right now. So I, I don't find this too bad. If we die, we die, you know? Sometimes you make good decisions and they pan out badly. Sometimes you make bad decisions, they, they pan out super well. For now, we're still cruising, so I'm not feeling too bad. Let's do the big room. Are those battery charges? If we get some battery charges, that's actually insanely good. Because we can just keep ourselves, like, flipped 24-7. We didn't get as many as I'd like, but we, we got half as many of them, twice as well as they deserve. This room kind of scares me. I'm playing it super cool. One of one of the greatest swaps in gaming history, quite frankly. Similar. Again, it's not about how much HP the enemies have, it's about how likely they are to just hit me out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. 
Got another full battery on here, maybe? Yeah, 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 okay. And then we got three half batteries, which is enough. But I'd really like to do a room the old-fashioned way, if possible. Beautiful. Had to be done. I think we'll win. After everything, I think we'll win. And we really kind of needed every piece of the puzzle <laughs> that we got. <laughs> but it looks like we'll probably come out smelling like a rose. A little funny, you got to admit. There's a lot of humor to be mined on this run. And if this is what it takes, then, then this is what it takes. Don't, don't kill me by hitting me here. I would never get over it, I think. I suppose we should flip. I'm just worried that if we flip and kill a fly, then we'll be stuck in the post-flip world. I, I think we have more luck as the other character, but then I've also been told that luck has nothing to do with it. On the, on the gambling context. Even just, like, one Spirit Heart on this character would help out. Because we could get some Oculus Rifts down. We could get some Invincibility via Empty Vessel. Use that to do some Orbital damage, you know. You can see the potential value. Card, unfortunately, is worth nothing here. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess we'll just see if we're invincible right off the bat. If not, we'll, we'll flip. Yeah, we're gonna win. I, I, honestly, especially when you factor in the first death we had on this run, this might be the funniest repentance video I've ever made. Dying to magic, well, first off, getting magic skin, being forced to use it, getting missing no, having no idea what was happening. Dying to magic skin with no concept of what killed us, followed by literally like squeezing all the juice out of the lemon to try to get to victory and then just forgetting you know to even put the juice into the bowl in the first place i'm not making lemonade i'm making it's a marinade and you're not invited to the barbecue unless you found this video hilarious like i did in which case more power to you i would not like the victory lap Give me my victory. The confetti pours down. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm still a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!